What's going on content creators? Mark Harris from Mark Harris Visuals here. And today, I'll be showing you guys how to add text in Premiere Pro CC 2019. Cue the intro. So, we have Premiere Pro loaded, and what you will notice, guys, is that there's no video files, audio, or any type of file of any sort on our timeline. And simply because of this, guys, we cannot add text. So we would have to add an adjustment layer, a black video, or a color mat so we can add text on top of that. So let's go ahead and open the adjustment layer, and what it's gonna do is put a place a black screen on our timeline. So to do this, you can right click over here in this bottom left corner and go to new item or you can click this button down here in the lower right corner and hit new item as well so you'll be greeted with a bunch of different uh placements of some sort so let's go ahead and click adjustment layer same settings good to go and then let's just drag it on over to our timeline so now we have a black screen guys and to add text you can simply hit the shortcut t or you can just go over here to your toolbar and hit the type tool and you will see that it says T right here. So all right, let's go ahead and click so we can add some text. So now you can pretty much put anything that you want. So let's go ahead and do barbecue or mildew. <laughs> Don't ask me why, this is what we're rolling with. So to edit this, you will have to go ahead and browse over to our graphics tab. So all right, we have our barbecue, <laughs> barbecue or mildew loaded. So let's go ahead and click edit. All right, so what we need to do to edit this text is simply click at the beginning of the text and drag it on over. All right, so say you want this text centered or wherever you want to place it in. So let's go ahead and just center it for now. So you'll click these little bars right here and what is this going to do is align it vertically. And now we need to go over to these tabs over here, which you can align horizontally. And these other uh, features right here, you can align it with however you want it. But let's just go ahead and just center our text. Sorry, right, our text is highlighted still. So that means that we can go down here to our, our text fonts and we can change our font to anything we want to. Premiere Pro already has like a ton of fonts to choose from. So let's go ahead and pick Impact just to press on this tutorial. Now our text has changed and you might need to realign it if it gets out of line. All right, so say that we want our text to get bigger as time passes by with our video. This is a super easy effect to do and it's so easy to comprehend. Just stay tuned and keep watching. So what we want to do is go over to the beginning of our clip right over here to the left hand side and you want to browse over to our effects control tab go down to graphics and you want to hit this keyframe on our scale because it what this is going to do is make our text bigger or smaller so let's go and hit a keyframe and make sure it's all the way over to the left hand side of your clip then we're going to browse over to where we want our clip to stop getting bigger so now we can do is since we have this time this stopwatch click what we can do is simply increase the scale to make this bigger <laughs> That barbecue and mildew is pretty funny, I don't even know why. All right, <laughs> so now we can go back to the beginning of our clip, come over here and hit the space bar, and now our text increases in size as time passes by. That's one little quick and simple, easy effect, and I'll show you guys one more, and then I'm just seeing you guys on your way. All right, so say we want our text to blend in or to ease into our video clip or whatever we have on our timeline. So for this example, I'll be creating something on the bottom left hand corner here. So what we need to do is adjust this text so it can be right here at the bottom. So what we can simply do is mess with our position and put it right there at the bottom. Okay, now, so say we want this text to just ease on in. So just like our scale effect that we just did, it's the same process guys. So make sure our text is highlighted. Make sure it's on the left hand side. And then we want to click the stopwatch once again. And we want to bring it back a little bit so we don't see the text. So next we want to bring this over where we want our text to stop coming in at. All right, so now we take our text and make it go over or wherever we want to make it stop it. So bam, that's cool. 
then you simply drag it on back, hit the space bar, and that is how you create a hidden text reveal. So I'm gonna show you guys one other effect you can do with our personalized text right here. So this opacity is usually always uh, keyframed. So what we wanna do to get this, is once again, effects controls, go over to video, and right in opacity, you'll see where it is. So since this is already keyframed or the stopwatch is clicked, we can go ahead and go over here to our percentage, and this is the visibility of our text. So it's already 100. So say we want to make like a quick reveal. So take this 100, hit zero, and you can see our text is no longer there. So browse on over to where you want your clip to be fully revealed. Go back down to opacity, hit 100, and voila, our text is here. Go on over to the beginning of our clip, spacebar, and voila. So those are three simple text effects that you can do easy and simple, right? You guys can do that. All right, I'm gonna briefly go over essential graphics. Cause I heard them first, I said, hold on. I said, hold up, wait a minute. and how to add text with that so you can customize this to wherever you want to. And then I will send you guys on your way. So if you go over here to graphics and then go over to essential graphics, you will notice that there's a ton, a ton, a ton of templates that you can edit yourself. If you don't want to just type in your text and stuff, you can customize these templates. So let's just take this classic lower third and just dra drag it on over to our timeline. Hit space bar, and this is what we have. So you can customize this however you would like. You can do the, uh, since it already has a position tool, you don't really need to do that. You can scale it however you want to though. And then you can also adjust the opacity if you want it to blend in a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you can fully customize this, make sure it's an edit, and you're on an actual text file. <laughs> Barbecue or mildew again. And that's how you do that. Go back to the beginning of our clip, space bar, and there we go. All right, guys, that'll be wrapping up this tutorial. Thank you guys for tuning in so, so much. The support really helps and goes a long way. And also, guys, make sure if you'd like to see a certain tutorial of some sort, drop them down in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to cover it, especially for the beginners out there that aren't familiar with Premiere Pro. That's it for the tutorial, guys. Make sure you give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really means a lot to me, but until next video, guys, I'll catch you guys later.